Hey everybody, welcome back to Insco Division. So here's my NS Airy engine. Spent the half of the day waiting on the mail. Got the mail. Hooked this puppy up. So my brother has an idea with this junkie board. And I'm gonna give him the speaker to go with it. This is the Soundtrax, I guess, their style uh, speaker and their thing. One watt, I guess is what it is. Look sound, ESU has, I got the same, it's almost like same speaker, but 40 watt. This is exactly what their board is. Got rid of that crappy board, because you can't put no current keeper with it, because it's too old of a board. So, out with the poopy crap. Cause that's my saying. That's my word of that. Cause I don't like soundtracks at all. I hate their product. Dizzy tracks now have her hand. I'm actually a believer on that one. Cause I have uh, a CN that's got Dizzy tracks recorder in it, and I freaking absolutely love it. But anyway, so here's the look sound. Here's the part number for it, and pretty much. Let's see, this is the back of the board, this is the front of the board, it's kind of cool. It tells you in the directions as well. This is the track power here, track power, headlight, and the, I did have a backlight, but I want to make sure that they, if they have like a resistor built into that, they do not. You know, it says LED on it. So I did is hooked up the resistor to it, like my brother told me to do, so I did. The other one I tested out a 9 volt battery, it actually smoked it and burned it, so that's a noops. But it is what it is. So, so now I got the headlight on that one side and that side. Everything's done. Same thing here, motor or track power here. So what I used, some styrene plastic, some two-sided sticky tape, and then sticky tape here and here. Put the board on it, caught good. Motor function here. And the other side of the motor that goes down below on this side, I think. Hooks into here. As you can see, the gray and orange. Speaker wires, doesn't really matter. That's it. That's all it takes. I already got it programmed, ready to go. I ain't threw uh, Tom Hanks all board in there, because why not? And I have radio ch chatter as well. And you may ask, well, why do you keep these? Well, because this thing don't have, really have just lights, I don't think. It will. But later on. Actually, it hooks into the side for the just lights, the functions and stuff. Yeah, I know, right here, yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, is this thing don't have. No. Ain't made for it yet. It will be. It will, yeah. Later on, it will be. And then how it does the lighting, it's kind of cool with that little box and that little box right there. So I kept the headlight because I don't want to put new headlights in it. So I kept the original one and went from there. So pretty much it has the same sound as my 1989 because that's an ace as well. Just like this one. And I found a horn that was kind of close to it, which honestly matches my 1989, the horn I picked. And the bell matches the 89 engine I have. So that's pretty cool. I don't really know what kind of horn it really has. So maybe if someone knows about this engine. Or, yeah, this Erie engine. Let me know in the comments below what kind of horn does it have. Or maybe I wasn't looking in the right place on Google. I don't know. Ah, what a freaking headache I just went through to put this lights. And <laughs> they might not be the prettiest little light uh, dish lights, but I got them to work after I don't know how many hours I was. I don't know how. I don't know what time I started on this. I got done. I gave up around twelve midnight last this morning. I'm not using these high dollar. Uh, this lights, I'm using just the plain Jane juice lights. I know that it does not look pretty, 
but it was a, a pain in the butt because I already glued them in place and then I had to re-break it off and re-glue it and now the glue does not look great. But my one dish light, it's turned to the side a little bit. I don't care, I'm leaving it because I don't want to mess with it. It works. I'm just going to leave it. So I'm going to show you how I hooked everything up to make the dish lights flash. How I got them to work. Thank you for my brother helping me on this uh, this morning. Because I was on this. So, I went out to the garage and got my. Make sure I don't just rail. I don't think it, yeah, it's live. I gotta be careful. So, I went out there and got my 7818. I paid back in the day 200 bucks for this guy, which I didn't know. I thought I paid more, but it was around. Well, close to 200 bucks because I won the bid and I bit two, on the other two engines which the 901 is not my DC9 but anyway um, this guy has the same board as I did I never done dish lights on a low sound at all me and my brother once get into doing dish lights and everything and most of our trains come from the factory already equipped and already done so we're doing dish lights, and I was doing some YouTube research last night. Nobody really shows you full detail on what to do. They do it, and then they skip. Like, how am I learning anything if you guys ain't going to do the video to teach us? So I got my dish lights to work, and I'm going to show you how. This guy did it, and I copied exactly how he did it. My brother... Thank God for him showing me. He goes, yeah, right here. Boom, boom, boom. Because there's two resistors coming off the headlight. I couldn't figure out why. Because it has down here like little gator clips. I guess that's what I'm going to call it. Has a copper, like a copper part here. And the cab comes down and it clamps them both together. And that gives it the continuity. Meaning like above the cab has a copper mash and down here it has a couple mash and then milk meet up and that gives it power to the dish lights and stuff and so I had my headlight hooked up first and that just went obviously red to the uh, positive side negative to the negative side so what I did to make the dish lights work you take the positive side hook it up to your positive headlight that gives it the power then you take your two grounds. So I don't want to move it like that. And you put it here. Like that. So you have one ground. Where's my pin? So you don't get my big old fat finger in the way. So you take your ground and put it there. And your other ground there. I didn't do that. Because it looked like on people on YouTube they just have it here. But you don't see, I don't know if they did any feeders, they didn't talk about it. But you can see I do have a uh, capacitor. And I have one in here too. That I did nicely. And I have my positive here and my negatives here. Nothing was working, nothing was coming on, frustration was getting out of hand. Switched them around, still nothing. Switched them over here, nothing. Back and forth, you know. And I'm like, okay. So, 12 o'clock this morning, I said enough is enough. I will do it when I wake up tomorrow and have a fresh mind and better ease. All night, I can hardly get any sleep because all night long I was thinking about this. What's the possibility of something going on? So now, after I figured this out, thank you for my brother helping me. He says, just like this engine here, take the positive. Put it to the headlight positive. The grounds to the each side. Now, how I did it was I made sure the right side went to the right side. Left side's to the left. Yeah, because this is the left side going to the first one, auxiliary one. And then the right dislike light comes up to the second auxiliary. So now, and I'll show you proof that it does work. 
I tried my best. Right, it's on go. You can hear the horn. Here's F6 for my dish lights. And you can see they do flash indeed like the real thing. At first they weren't flashing and I'm like, oh no. So then I had to come up to my decoder setting, come up to the function outputs, make sure this was set on gray crossing, exactly how they have it set for factory. This is exactly set to as well, gray crossing LED mode. As you can see there, I don't want to get too close to my computer screen because it will make it probably all uh, blurry. Because I forgot to set the horn. Right here's the horn pack. Back to the gray crossing. So I hope really this does help somebody out. And then for the F6 is auxiliary one and auxiliary two. One, as you can see there. That's all you gotta do. This is coming down here, click this arrow right here, and then go to the, hit those parts. But all looks on programs already have all that stuff equipped you don't have to worry about it it's plug and play pretty much it me i highly like to add cups and sounds so i had already in the sound file i got all bored and where is my radio chatter so now if i hit f3 we got Tom Hanks from Polar Express saying all aboard. Now if I have seven. And that's real radio chatter from I think CSX or something like that. I can't forget where I got it from. It's pretty cool. And that's how I make my Toy Story train talk. That's how I make my Echo 1 do its thing where it's on or ecto one sorry ecto one do its thing like ghostbusters i got the horn siren and everything for it but that's it for right now i hope everybody can enjoy this video and hopefully i explain how to do the dislikes better than anybody because a lot of people on youtube didn't really show you or talk about it and i hope this way this helps you all out talk to you all later